This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good afternoon, everyone. That was really an amazing zuchus uh, that we had, an amazing opportunity. So I interviewed one of the stewards, and I asked, you know, we saw we saw remarkable things. Was this top fifty percent of trips on the water? Top twenty percent? Top ten percent? Top one percent? And he said, by far. Top one percent of any of the trips he's ever made. So, Baruch Hashem, we had a remarkable opportunity. I want to uh, speak about fish, and uh, we're going to play a little game. We have here the Yom Naram season is coming up. We have here the book, The Mystery and the Majesty. So, whoever gets the right answer to this question will win a free book, The Mystery and the Majesty. Why do you think I like fish? I'm going to give you a little hint. First of all, uh, my initials. Okay, for this one, <laughs> for this one, uh, I'm not giving out the book, but that's just a hint. Why do you think I like f- fish? Something to do with my initials. What do you say? DG. Dalit oh, Gimel. There you go, Daniel Glatzin. So, but what does it have to do? What about my middle name? Anybody know my middle name? J. J. J? How do you know J? Well, you saw me sign a check or something? <laughs> The WhatsApp. Well, you so many yentas. Why are people studying other people's profile on their WhatsApp? But, you know, before I talk about the fish, sorry to tell you, mind your own WhatsApp profile, you know? You're not, no. Not, but good try. Well, close. Okay, I'll say close. Almost. No, my, my father, that's my father's name, and we're Ashkenazi, so that's not my name. Okay? Oh. Jacob. Oh. Is that your father? <laughs> Daniel Jacob Blatstein. So, I'm like a fisherman, a Dayug. But the question is, this is the tough one. What's my connection to Dagim? And now, um, it has something to do with me and my father. Sachachov. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, not mother. Born in Adar. Born in Adar. No, close. Daniel, Yaakov, Gladstein, Ben, Yosef, Menachem, Dogim, I'm Dogim. Okay, that's, uh, okay. So nobody won the book. Good, because I wasn't planning on giving it to anyone anyway. No, but we'll, we'll have other opportunities to uh, win the book. Uh, we know the Magen Avram tells us in Simen Reish Membez, he brings to the Sefer Tikkunei Shabbos, Sheyoichal b'chol suda migimel suda is Dogim. One should eat fish, all three meals on Shabbos. Friday night, Shabbos day, Shalashudas, you should have some fish. And by the way, the interesting comment of the Magen Avram, the fishermen used to try to jack up the prices because they knew Jews uh, had to buy fish. So the Magen Avram brings from the Tzemach Tzedek, not to be confused with the Tzemach Tzedek that you heard of. This is the earliest Tzemach Tzedek. His name was Rabbi Nachem Mendel Krachemel, one of the early Achreinim. He says, if the fishermen hike up the prices, then, you know, eat, eat meatballs or something. But no, you don't have to eat fish uh, on Shabbos. So what's the Indian of eating fish on Shabbos? I want to show with you two thoughts. First of all, fish are a unique creature. Fish are the only creature, they have a rush, they have a guf. They're only missing one thing. They don't have a neck. They don't have a tzavar. They have no neck. They're a head and a guf mechubar yachtav. Mechubar yachad. What's the significance of that, that a fish does not have a neck? There is an amazing chsam soifer, and the chsam soifer writes about this in many places. Chsam soifer tells us that who is our roish? Vayelech magen lefem v'ashem b'roishem. Hashkash baruch, who's the roish? Who's the guf? So the Jewish people are the body. What attaches HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Knesset Yisrael? The Beis HaMikdash. That's why the Beis HaMikdash is always referred to as the Tzavar. Tzavareich Kemigdal Hashem. Kemigdal David Tzavareich. The Beis HaMikdash is always referred to as a neck. Why? Says a Chsam Soifer. Says a Shem Shmuel. Because the Beis, through the Beis HaMikdash, all Shefa comes down to the world. And up through the base of Mikdash, it's the Shara Shamayim, all the Tfilois go up. 
So the base Hamikdash is the pipeline, the passageway, the attachment, the point of connection between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Knesset Yisrael. However, says the Chassam Soifer, the Beis Hamikdash was not the original plan and is not the final plan. The original plan was B'chol Makayim Asher Azkir Eshemi Avoye Lecha Uveirachticha. The original plan is B'shachanti B'soicham. The original plan was the Rebbeinu Shem will dwell, will dwell in the Shechina on every on every Jew. And La'asid Lavoy, in fact, the Rebbeinu Shem will dwell on us. So ask the Chassam Soifer. So why will we need a Beis HaMikdash? He says, in fact, we won't need a Beis HaMikdash. We'll only need a Beis HaMikdash to bring Karbanais. But the Shechina will rest on every Jew. Says Achsam Soifer, what do we refer to as the time of the future where we won't need a Beis HaMikdash as a place to house the Shechina? That is called Dog. Dog represents the Achras Hayamim, when we won't need a Tzavar, when we won't need a point of connection to attach HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Knesset Yisrael. By the way, just parenthetically, we saw many fish in the sea. There's one other animal that also has no neck. And that is Yehuda Gladstein. He wins the mystery and the majesty. You have to keep it in the family. No. The pig, the Chazer, has no neck. Why does the pig have no neck? Because it says Achsam Sefer represents Esav. All the other nations of the world they have a sar, they have a ministering angel, there's a nation, and there's some type of connection between the two. Esav, the Samach Mem and Esav are always Mechubar Yachad. That's why the Chazer has no neck. In any event, the Achrus Hayomim is referred to as the dog. I once saw in one of the Sarm of Rapinchas Friedman, he suggests that the reason why we eat fish on Shabbos is because Shabbos is. Yom Shekula Shabbos and Nucha Lechai Yoelamim represents the Achras Hayomim, Harachaman, Huyan Chilenu, Yom Shekula Itoiv. It represents the Lost Lavai, and therefore we eat fish on Shabbos. But there's another reason we eat fish on, fish on Shabbos. A lot of people ask me if I'm going to talk about the Leviathan. Yes, we're going to talk about the Leviathan. Raise your hand. If you take a shower before Shabbos, no, I know it's a personal question. Just, you know, my personal advice is it's always a good idea, but definitely at least once a week, right? Jew, what do you say? At yeah, least once a week. Most of the time. Most of the time. Okay. Now, Al Pimach Shava, according to Jewish thought, the shower is supposed to be very hot. Why is the shower supposed to be very hot? Because our Shabbos. As a reenactment, every week on Shabbos, we remind ourselves of the purpose of creation, Olam Haba. We remind ourselves of the Yom Shekulay Taim. We Harachaman Yom Shekulay Shabbos Sebnuchal Chayelamim. Therefore, all of the repasts of Shabbos remind us of Olam Haba. So, for example, in Lost the Levi, we're, uh, we're going to have Sudas Leviyata. Says a Kadmain. The name of the Kadmain is the Torah Chayim. He says the reason why we have fish on Shabbos is to reenact Achilas Leviasan Laasad Lavai. So whether you have gefilte fish, whether you have salmon, whether you have sushi, obviously Lechatchila is supposed to be gefilte fish, but even if you veer off the uh, traditional Jewish foods, fish, why? It's a Zecher. To the future suit of, of, of the Leviasa. Says the Taras Chaim. That's why we eat meat on Shabbos. Because the Lavoi, we're going to partake of the Shar Habar. That's why we have Pashtida on Shabbos. The Medrash says the Lavoi, we're going to have the Man. However, in order to get to Elam Haba, the Gemara says sometimes you need some purification in the Har Dinar, in the burning, hot, fiery waters of Dinar. Therefore, before we enjoy Shabbos, we take a burning hot shower. And that represents and reflects the uh, passage through Nahar Dinar before we're Zoycha to Olam Haba. You see? You see what, what Yidin could do? We could take Gehenim and we make a hot Geshmak shower out of it. So that's the uh, Indian of all the Menhagim of Shabbos are in order to react, uh, reenact the Indian of the Yom Shekula Shabbos Tzvucha L'chai So we have two reasons to eat fish on Shabbos. 
One, it reminds us of love to love when we won't need the base Hamikdash as a tzavar. And number two, it reminds us of Achilas Leviasan. And I don't know if the uh, humpback whale is the Leviasan, but uh, it's as close as you're going to see before Mashiach comes. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're going to take a moment with his boy name, the Parsha Leparsha. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.